Well, hello again, everyone. You join us as the sun rises on our second day at Upper Dufferin Caravan and Motor Home Club CL. And we're waking up and getting ready, wondering what the day holds for us. Well, I just come to get dressed this morning and look, there's a, a big rent in the arse of me trousers. What's a rent? A rent is like a tear. Like what be, might be made by some sort of explosion. Oh, Anyhow, I reckon they're no more. I'll tell you what though, couldn't really ask for a better view to wake up to in the morning. Look at that out of our window. Isn't that lovely? We've got the old black pudding and beans on and uh, Nikki's having a crumpet. That looks about toasted, doesn't it? Well, this morning we're going to have a ride up and see if we can get into Clun. Clun, Clun, not sure how you say it. Nikki's uh, shot ahead. I've forgotten how good her bike was on the hills. I think she's hoping to have a pub lunch when we get to Clun. Ah, the old traffic lights. That will slow her down. Oh no, they've changed. She's off again. Wow, look at the beautiful view. I can see the uh, castle. Looks fantastic. Well, I'm in Clun, but uh, Nikki's shot off ahead. I've uh, no idea where she is. Well, I tracked her down. She's found the pub and she's headed straight in already. So, lock the bikes up and I'll wait and see what she brings out. Oh, well, this looks good. Well, while Nikki does her paperwork, I've come for a bit of a wander. And there she is! Clun Castle is thought to have been built by a Norman Lord, Pico de Say, shortly after the Norman Conquest in 1066. Makes you puff a bit climbing up there. In 1155, the castle passed to the Fitzalan family, who owned it for the next 400 years. Probably the bowls club with the best views. The big main tower here is thought to have been built around 1292. More for luxury accommodation for hunting parties than for military defence. By 1539 the castle is reported as being abandoned and ruined. Right, now it's uh, 
bit of a pull back to the campsite. It's a lot more uphill on the way back, I think. And Nikki is way off in the distance already. Whew, I think she might get back before me. is uh, mostly uphill on the way back. Still lovely views though, eh? Back at the van for a nice mug of tea and some chocolate, aren't we darling? Well, what a fantastic view we really have got from this CL. It's great just to sit back in the van and watch the cows contentedly munch on their grass. Well, we were sitting here and occasionally I could hear the pump firing, so I suspected a leak. I went underneath the van, I can see a very slight drip coming through and you can see it's just leaking there. So I've taken the cover off, as you can see. I'll have to uh, re-silicon that when we get home. But uh, let's see if I can tighten this up to stop the leak. Right, so I couldn't really tighten that anymore. So I've wrapped some PTFE tape around that pipe and remade that joint also tightened this one up here and i think that's done the trick not seem to be any more moisture on there right i'll pop that cover back on and we just have to be a little bit more careful when we're showering because there'll be no silicon seal there but i can redo that as soon as we get home yeah, there we go. I think that's cured it. The uh, silicon missing along there isn't too much of a concern. We can still have a shower. If any water gets behind there, of course, it is all sealed up behind there anyway. So it can't go that way into the locker or down into the wall or anything because that seal goes all the way around. So, yeah, as long as we're careful. We can still use the shower, I think. Just a minor bit of teething trouble, eh? Oh, well, that was a bit of a pain, wasn't it? I thought I'd uh, cracked that shower installation, but uh, I guess there's always a risk you might get a small leak from one of those uh, Jubilee clip joints. Anyhow, I've come out for a bit of a evening stroll before I finally turn in for the night. Yeah, just round the corner from the CL, there's the uh, the upper reaches of the River Clun heading down the valley there. Yeah, very nice. I think tomorrow we're going to go out on the bikes again and maybe head up towards the Anchor Inn in the opposite direction to where we cycled today. Maybe have a light lunch there or something. It does look like great walking country around here though as well. Nicky's a little bit more happy on the old bike these days, but it uh, would be nice to come back perhaps another time and do a little bit of walking around here. Oh, well, I didn't have a chance to film it because it happened too quick, but uh, you'll just have to take my word for it. Old Fox popped out the hedge right in front of me. I'm walking fairly quietly in the dusk here. And uh, I think I scared the life out of it because it uh, gave me a bit of a stare and then scuttled off up the road and darted back in the hedge again. But uh, there you go. Nice to see old Mr. Fox out in the evening. There's also uh, plenty of bats about. I don't know if you can see the old bats. Whee, there he goes. Yeah, they're out after the flies and stuff, I suppose. 
We were also quite fortunate earlier on in the day, we saw what I think was probably a stoat. Nikki spotted it first and I just saw it disappearing into the uh, field. So uh, yeah, that was uh, nice to see too. Having quite a good weekend of wildlife spotting. Well, uh, I'm just passing this, what looks like an old cottage, got an old caravan out the front as well. And it's got a, a post box in the wall, look. I don't know if uh, you'd trust that for posting your letters. I'm sure it must be a, a real post box. Yeah, it looks like it. It's got all the collection times and stuff on it. So yeah, post your letters into the old shack. Maybe the uh, postman lives in the caravan with his axe ready to murder you. Well, it is actually starting to get quite dark. The camera shows up pretty well in their darkness, but uh, it's a lot darker than you're seeing it on the film here. Um, I'm going to head up this track to the right, or this little road to the right, because disused quarries are marked on the map. That might be quite interesting, or we might not be able to find anything. Or I might give up and turn around because it is getting pretty dark. But uh, I'm going to walk a little way up here anyway. Well, I've come a little way up here and it is getting much darker now. I haven't found anything that looks much like old quarries. So, cool. Maybe a path walking up that slope. So, I'm going to head back to the van, turn in for the night, and have a nice cup of tea and maybe a couple of my apple pies with some cream. Hmm. There are an awful lot of bats flitting about here. No, they're all buggered off now. I just saw a light flash in the caravan. Ah! Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.